In preparation for Monday trading, we will make some uh, technical analysis for gold. Gold from for the next week, okay? Monday will resume since market is closed for this weekend, okay? We will start from the higher time frame, which is monthly, okay, guys? So this is the goal. If we will check the monthly, what happened in the last uh, previous uh, month, overall, when the month of May ended, this is the highest price, which is almost the same as the highest price of the goal. But massively, it was it dropped until this day. But closing the month, with some bullishness but if you check the volume that's the volume of the bullishness of the month of march since this is the really the liquidity okay and this is again the month of april this is with the market close it's shown bearishness but what happened to the also the the candle for the last week of the month of April is bearish and also the volume is very low. And if we will check the weekly, when the week, uh, last week, when the market closed, the volume shown some bullishness. But if we will check the difference of the two. The zone of the bullish here until here, bearish is still dominant. Okay? So if we will check the daily for Monday, this is the result. Here. This is the consolidation pace for the previous days. And these are those whips so here. The weekly lowest price is here. And the weekly highest price is here. So that's so that's the extension of the range for the weekly higher high and weekly low, and if we will check, so that's the daily. So consolidation took place here. So if we will do for as I've said for Monday for our time frame, if we can find any chance to trade for the Monday. On for our time frames, you can see this is a two hundred moving average, but slightly still on consolidation. There's some slight of curvature. But still, consolidation is dominant for this. So you will take this RD, where the this are the this is the potential uh, demand area, wherein the prices try to move upward again, made some pullback, but the previous demand is not revisited. No, so it's still a fresh. Then again, again, again. Reaching this level here, and then the prices drop for the previous uh, how many four hours for that? So if we will check the four hours from Monday upon opening, what will happen next? I think this is only a sort of uh, pre signal. On Monday upon opening, the prices may tend to the prices may tend to. After this is a bullishness of the hourly, it will drop. Maybe after this level, because this is a resistance here. That's a resistance. Yes. It will drop. It will drop. And then your TP, maybe. Because this is a still a 200 moving average. But for me, I think this dynamic support is not cannot sustain because the uh, the bearishness will drop maybe until this level here 44 hours if we will check the four hours yes it will drop maybe until here you have to try to monitor this level here 
or even here it will drop and then it will before it will make this as your tp if you want to sell this area here this is your tp is here make some allowance of the broker spread one and one three point point four maybe that's your take profit and then you can once you see some uh, bearish uh, in early bearish candle like hanging man uh, the, what that w uh, w pattern uh, m pattern or bearish um, any bearish sign of candles in sell then that's your tip as I've said then your stop loss above that 60 moving average the blue one or you make some stop loss but if it will pull back and hitting the 60 make some allowance then make some manual stop loss then that's your tp you can make some maybe some risk worries one is to 1.5 one is to one one is to one one is to two huh? okay considering the broker spread 1.1 point by say okay so that's my pre-signal for monday for gold okay so thank you and then i will upload this one then make us your reference trade at your own risk